While most folks think that this Sunday is Super Bowl Sunday, there's some in the weather community that view it as the weather Super Bowl. February 2nd. I'm not one of those people. It is that time of the year, though, where they drag that mythical rat out of its hole or out of its cage to see whether or not it sees its shadow. And with its mythical powers, it's going to be able to tell you what the rest of the winter is going to be like. It's Groundhog Day. A thousand people freezing their butts off waiting to worship a rat. It's sort of almost ludicrous to think that this furry, smelly uh, rodent uh, uh, would be able to forecast the weather. But it's probably the most celebrated forecast in Canada all year. I don't think he's talking about me. It's almost as if it's that kind of time of the mid time of winter where we're probably all rather winter weary already. We can only hope and there's probably a reason why we're holding out hope for that coveted no shadow forecast. But is there any logical science behind how this folklore of Groundhog Day came to be? Kind of superstition or or folklore that tries to tell you the weather on one day, uh, on a particular day, given the, the weather in, in six weeks from now, is, is really, well, let me put it this way, it's pure round hogwash. But let's not let that get in the way of a good midwinter party, right? Oh, Canada! And one of the biggest ones in the country takes place about two hours northwest of Toronto in a town called Wyerton. We're the only albino uh, prognosticating groundhog, so that, that kind of sets us apart. But the fabled story of Wyerton Willie, it's a bit of an odd one. 64 years ago, um, threw a, a, his wife's fur hat into the snowbank and claimed that that was the groundhog. And, uh, and somehow it just kind of morphed into this big, uh, you know, big event that it is today. For the past 10 to 15 years, thousands of people have come to brave the cold to hear what the white weasel will say. But is Willie any good at calling the season? An early spring. Six more weeks. I've counted. In the last 21 years, it appears he's only been right about six times, meaning he's batting about 285. But it appears there may be some deep state cover up. Willie's right all the time. It's whether or not I can understand his interpretation. So I have to learn. That's one of the things I had to learn as a mayor is groundhog ease. Now, Willie isn't the only game in town. There's Manitoba Merv, or out in Alberta, my, one of my favorite ones, I guess, is Balzac Billy. So it appears there'll be a variety of forecasts to pick from, but what does Downsview Dave say for his spring predictions? I'm going to go with normal, but I think that spring will arrive in the far west, And um, but I would think that by the astronomical beginning of spring, which is around the 20th of March, uh, we'll, we'll feel that uh, spring is in the air. In Toronto, Adam Stiles, City News.